Alright, here's a test setup that we're working on to find the ideal values of a dry cell. These plates, as you can see, only have holes in them at the top. Um, the electrolyte was filled up, even though it looks like it's completely full right here. It's actually filled up to the bottom of the holes because obviously if I try and fill it further, it just leaks back out. I'm going to let it run um, continuously for, for probably multiple hours till I can get the water level down below the hole so that I know that the um, drilled holes in the plate are completely isolated from the um, electrolyte so that we have zero voltage leakage. Now this isn't going to be a production type cell, this is an experimental cell. It's a real pain in the butt to fill it up. But I did notice something interesting. It's been going for about a half an hour. That's the voltage. That's the amperage, and yeah, sure, it, it's a very low amperage, but it's still drawing some amperage. Um, it is a 20 plate cell, if you cared to count them, which means there is 19 cells inside this stack. If you do the math, 12 and a half, I'll do it for you, uh, 12 and a half divided by 19, gives you 0.657 volts per cell. It's a really low um, voltage. It's the lowest voltage I've ever seen a cell begin to draw a steady amperage. And then usually what I do to find that is I'll, I'll turn it up till I get, you know, one thousandth of an amp, and that's my baseline. Usually it's around 1.6 volts. It, it'll, as you increase the voltage to the cell, you will get some amp draw lower than that, but it goes away rather quickly. Uh, three, three to five seconds and it'll drop back down to zero. So it's just the plates charging. This has actually got a, a consistent amp draw on it. Obviously I can't see into the cell to see if it's producing, but generally speaking a half an hour of amp draw and it should be producing. So it'll be interesting to see um, what kind of voltage leakage we're actually realizing from the holes in the lower end of the plate. Now yes, EBN and I and, and everybody knows that there is going to be some voltage leakage and there are ways to deal with that, compensate for that. Um, there's a lot of people who have very elaborate gasket systems which would probably work, um, but there, there, there are solutions to that issue and we will be working towards that. But this is just to see is there a real point to working towards that. I mean are we going to have a, a large gain in efficiency or are we going to have a small gain in efficiency? So as these pro tests progress, um, I'll keep you guys informed. No, I have not forgotten about the engine or anything. I just got a little burnt out of cutting hand cutting gaskets for it, so uh, once that wears off I'll, I'll be right back at it. So I'm going to run this up and let it run for a multiple of hours and uh, I'll keep you guys informed. Take it easy.